Hi, my name is Mette Sophie Skallen and I'm the study counselor here at the European School Copenhagen. My role here is the school is both the well-being aspect in the school, so that's when you start to create a good class community and also we have drop-in here at my office uh, where if you have any things that you would like to discuss about your well-being or your academic, if you have academic struggles, if there's something at home, then you can always come by my office and for a small chat. My role here is also to help you make the right educational choices so you can design your program after your interest. Uh, the first year here is uh, a preparation year where you're introduced to all subjects uh, a couple of hours a week and then you have a good foundation to make the right choices if you already know what you want to become after graduating here at the European School. Um, the whole European Baccalaureate program is designed for you to be able to navigate in a globalized world and strengthen your European identity. When you finish here at the European School, you have obtained the European Baccalaureate Diploma and the Diploma gives you the opportunity to study in all European countries and many other programs in the world. The way to strengthen your European identity is that you here at the European School meet many different cultures and students with different backgrounds. One of the strong focuses is also on languages because we believe that true understanding of different cultures is that you're able to communicate with them and that's also why all our teachers are mother tongue uh, speakers so they also carry their culture with them. Uh, I chose to go to the European School of Copenhagen because of the bilingual facilities that the school provides. So here at this school I'm able to learn English, French uh, and Danish. So at the end of my time here I'll, be, I'll have a very strong knowledge of different languages. The programme is a multilingual programme. That means that you have many of the courses in your mother tongue. But you are mixed in groups because you are taught in uh, some subjects that could be history or geography and creative subjects in your first foreign language which plays an important role. The School of European in Copenhagen is a very good environment for people who speak a lot of languages. For example, I speak French, Italian, and a little bit of Danish. So, for instance, if you're in the English section, then most of your subjects will be taught in English, which is your mother tongue. But to strengthen the multilingual aspect, you will have history and geography in your first foreign language, which can be French or German. The European school program is also different from what some of you might know from the Danish system where you choose a strong profile from the beginning, for instance a science profile, or it's also different from the IB program where you also choose a, a special educational profile from the beginning. The European school program is a mix and match program where you have the flexibility to, uh, to shape your program after your interests. One of the things I really enjoy about the European school is that we have classes uh, across the different classes. So we all have gym class together and we all have art together and all the other electives. And it's quite nice because it kind of broadens your spectrum of people rather than uh, having it limited to your own class. Um, I chose the European school because I'm also part German. So it allows me to both develop my German and my English at a higher level when I'm learning. And I can also learn in German as well. And I'm also, I also have the opportunity at this school to take um, several sciences at a higher level. And so I'm able to develop in multiple directions at the same time without needing to worry about uh, closing off other options for me in the future. Uh, the first year we have here at the European School is a preparation year where you have many compulsory subjects. So you're able to make an informed choice for the last two years, which is where you shape your final program after your interests. The first question I'm also always asked when students start here is what does my school day look like? 
And the first, uh, first year you have around 30 lessons uh, per week uh, in the preparation year and later on you can choose to have uh, either 31 or 35 lessons per week based on what you, you wish to do. You're tested twice a year to prepare you for the baccalaureate exam after your final year, we call it secondary seven. Uh, we work with the growth mindset uh, during the year, so you do group work, you have individual projects, so we use many learning strategies to, to help you achieve your goals. If accepted here, you will meet me a lot during your preparation year, because I will be there to not only in my office to help you with different things, but in the classes and having workshops about what you can choose for the next years and how you can shape your program. So I really hope that I can be able to see you in August and help you make the right choices so you will be able to, to navigate in different cultures and study in other countries.